In this video lecture, I will explain you analysis and designing of G Place 8 story building with a shear wall opening by using Stat Pro V8i software. Nowadays, basically for designing of earthquake resistant structure, uh, most of the people are using shear walls for decreasing of the seismic loading condition. So in this video, I will explain you how to provide the shear walls with openings uh, by using uh, Stat Pro V8i software and how to design the building by using Stat Pro software. Okay. So initially, we need to select the Stat Pro software here. So click on Stat Pro software. So click on new project option, select the spacing option, give the structure name, just I am taking it as shear wall opening, open. So here we have to select the location, so system selecting some location here and uh, length will be in meter as well as load will be in kilonewton, click on next button, click on finish button. Now here initially we need to model G plus 8 story building, so I will consider the ground story plus 8 stories. So for that initially go to geometry here, click on run structure wizard option. So initially I am selecting truss model, frame models, just select the bay frames option. So initially we need to assume the length of the building, just I am taking it as 17 and height of the building, basically I will consider the ground story first. So after that I will copy the remaining stories for creating of uh, G plus 8 story structure. So I am taking height as 3 meter and width of the building I am taking it as 11 meter. Number of base along length direction, let us assume it as 5 and number of base along height direction are 1. Number of uh, base along width direction are 3. Now we have to select these 3 dots. Initially we need to enter the distance here. So here I am considering the distance of first one is 3, 4, 3, 4, 3. Click on OK option. Again I am selecting the width direction base. So here I am considering the width of this respective structure is 4, 3, 4. Click on OK. So after that click on apply option. So click on cancel option. Click on S button. So click on OK. Now here the uh, frame model is designed for this respective ground story initially. So after creating the ground story, we need to create the slab sections. So for that select add 4 node plate option. Select first point, second point, third point. Again click on fourth point. In the same way we have to create the remaining slab sections for the ground story here. So after that we have to create remaining stories. So for that initially we need to select all. So select Y direction. In Y direction with the number of steps are let us assume it as 9. And each step will be consisting of 3 meter. Click on OK. So it will create your remaining stories here. So after that we have to keep the structure in front of you. Select the plate cursor option here. Just I am selecting the plates at the ground story. So now click on transitional repeat option in Y direction. So number of steps are 9 here and each step will be consisting of 3 meter in upward direction. Click on OK. So it will create your slab sections. Now we have to delete all the plates at the ground story. Why? Because these beams are comes under your plinth beam sections. So for that I am deleting all sections here. So now we have to assign the properties. So before assigning the properties we need to create the shear walls with opening for this respected model. So for that initially we need to select the top view. So here I am selecting cut section command. Click on select to view. Click on OK. So here I am cutting this respected portion here. So here I am selecting surface cursor. Select the first point here, select the second point, select the third point, again select the fourth point. Now come to the first point. In the same way, I will add the section for the re remaining right hand side section. So select the second point, select the third point, select the fourth point. So after that, we have to close this respected option. So here I am selecting first point, second point, third point, fourth point. Again come to first point. Again in the same way, just I am selecting first point, second point, third point, fourth point, again fifth point. First point, second point, third point, fourth point, fifth point. Now I am selecting first point, second point, third point, fourth point, fifth point. Again I am selecting first, second, third, fourth, fifth. In the same way we have to create all the remaining shear walls for the remaining sides also. So click on this respected display hole structure. Select the top view. Click on cut section. Click on select to view. Click on OK. So here I am selecting this respected right hand side portion. So click on this point. Here I am rotating this respected model to the front facing direction. Select the surface command. Select the first point, second point. Again select the third point. Fourth point. Again come to first point. Select first point, second point, third point, fourth point. Now here we have to click on hold structure command. So initially we need to select the top view. Select the surface commands here. So select the surface plates. So click on 3D view. So it will select the surfaces. So go to your copy option. Click on paste surfaces which is at a distance of minus 11 for this respected Z direction. Minus 11, just I am assuming. Click on OK. So it will create the remaining surface here. Again, select top view. Again, I am selecting right hand side surface. So click on this. 
click on copy click on paste surfaces which is at a distance of x direction distance of 17 meter click on ok so it will copy your respected surface like this now i will show you this respected model in 3d rendering view click on 3d rendering view so this is the 3d rendering view for this respected model with shear wall opening sections so i was created the opening for this respected eight story building with the shear walls so after that we have to select the general option now select the property initially we need to define the column size beam size and slab thickness shear wall thickness so here i am taking the beam size will be consisting of let us assume it as 0.23 cross 0.45 so click on add button again i am taking the column size which is approximately consisting of 0.23 cross 0.5 so after that we have to create the slab thickness just i am assuming the slab thickness which is approximately equal to 150 mm click on add button select the surface thickness just i am adding it as 120 mm click on add button close option now we have to select the beams go to select option beams parallel to x condition again you have to select the beams parallel to z condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes now i am selecting the columns go to select option beams parallel to y condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes select the plate thickness by using assign to view assign yes option select the surface thickness by using assign to view option assign yes option so after that we have to assign the supports select the supports here click on create option add your fixed support select your support to with the help of front view option we have to select all the node points at the base click on assign to selected nodes option assign yes option so after that we have to see this respected model in rendering view click on 3d rendering view option so this is the 3d rendering view for this respected building uh, which is consisting of 0.23 cross 0.45 is the beam size 0.23 cross 0.5 is the column size and slab thickness will be consisting of 150 mm and shear wall thickness will be consisting of 120 mm so after modeling process completed we have to apply the load cases so for this respected structure initially i am assuming the load cases will be consisting of dead loading condition live loading condition seismic loading condition as well as wind loading condition so initially we need to define the seismic loading condition so click on add button so here i am selecting indian standard system click on generate now here we have to create the zone which is consisting of your respected zone 5 condition with all suitable values as per the considerations of the medium soil condition click on generate option so click on add button so after that we have to add the self weight factor as one so after that we have to add the member weight which is related to the beam dead load calculation values so here i am calculating the dimensions of the beam which is consisting of 0.23 cross 0.45 we have to multiply this respected value with 25 so it will give the intensity of 2.5875 weight so here i am entering 2.5875 value here click on add option so click on save option initially so click on add option close option select this respected uniform weight click on select the beams parallel to x condition select the beams parallel to z condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes so after that we have to select the wind loading condition definition so click on add button so here we have to initially measure the distance from the bottom to top section which is approximately consisting of 30 meter click on add close so initially i am selecting type 1 wind one click on add so here we have to add the intensity just i am taking 1.2 is the intensity which is acting at a distance of 30 meter again i am taking 30 is the intensity which is acting at a distance of 15 meter again i am taking intensity of 0.5 which is acting at a distance of uh, 3 meter let us consider click on add option now we have to add the exposure factor as 1 click on add close select the exposure 1 by using assign to view assign yes option so after that we have to apply the load case details select load case details option here click on add initially we need to define the seismic loading condition which is related to the earthquake load which is in x condition click on add option again i am taking earthquake load which is in z condition add here now i am selecting the wind loading condition which is related to the wind x direction condition again i am selecting wind z direction condition so now we have to select the dead loading condition so here here i am taking the load as dl add so after that we have to select the live loading condition now i am selecting it as ll add button close option select the earthquake load x direction add here so in this we need to select the seismic loading condition with x direction factor 1 add close select z direction add button select the seismic loading which is in z condition with a factor 1 add close select wind x here so click on add button select the wind condition with a factor 1 add button again i am selecting the factor as minus one add button so after that we have to select the wind load in z condition so click on add option select the wind load auction 
which is in z condition with a factor as 1 initially so after that we have to add the factor as minus 1 add button so after that click on close option select the dead load option here click on add initially we need to add the self weight here click on add select the self weight by using assign to view assign yes so after that we have to select the live load action click on add so initially we need to select the floor load which is consisting of the intensity let us assume it as minus 3 which is acting at a distance of 6 meter and 30 meter so why because my first lab is at a distance of 6 meter and last lab is at a distance of 30 meter so after that we have to uh, assign the load combinations so select the load case details click on add initially we need to select the load combinations as per the indian standard system click on generate here click on add button here close option here okay so after that go to analysis and print add button close option go to analyze option run analysis save it so here we have to check for the zero errors for this respected g plus eight story building model with with shear wall set opening by using stat pro v8i software so here the model is observed with zero errors go to post pro c mode click on done option so apply your load cases click on ok so this is the deflection of the building due to presence of your respected live loading condition this is the earthquake load x direction this is the earthquake load z direction wind load x direction wind load z direction dead loading condition ok so after that we have to click on this respected fy value so deselect the uh, shear force diagram value deflection diagram value so this is the uh, shear force diagram for this respected structure so after that we have to select the mz value which is nothing but the bending moment diagram for this respected structure so after that we have to select plate load apply your stress type as absolute pressure click on apply click on ok so this is the maximum absolute pressure for this respective structure due to presence of the different types of load cases as well as your load combinations for this respective structure so after analysis process is completed we need to design this respective structure so go to modeling option so click on design here initially we need to select the concrete design so select the design as per the is456 code click on select to parameters initially we need to deselect all selected parameters from this we need to pick compressed strength yield strength yield strength of shear reinforcement maximum main maximum secondary so click on ok so after that we have to define the parameters so for this building just i am assuming grade of the concrete is 30,000 m30 grade concrete click on add fy main reinforcement let us assume it has 600 grade steel bars 600,000 click on add now I am selecting section reinforcement which is also consisting of 600,000 click on add button so select the maximum main so here I am selecting 20 mm click on add maximum section reinforcement just I am selecting it as 16 mm add button close option select the comments here so click on design beam command click on add select the design column command click on add design slab element command click on add take off command add option close option so now we have to select the question marks click on assign to view option assign yes select the fy main assign to view assign yes option select the fy section reinforcement by using assign to view assign yes option maximum main also assign to view option assign yes option maximum secondary section reinforcement also assign to view now we have to select the design beam go to select beams parallel to x condition again select beams parallel to z condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes option select design column option select beams parallel to y condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes now i am selecting design element by using assign to view assign uh, sorry assign to view assign yes option so after designing the beams and column sections we need to design the shear wall so for that initially we need to select the shear walls here so select the surface one click on create panel option so select the first point second point third point fourth point so now we have to select the panel type as wall click on ok so click on s button so after that we have to select another panel so click on create a panel in the similar procedure we need to create all the panels for all the sectional reinforcement for the members of shear wall section now here we have to select the is code book after assigning the plates so click on select the parameters initially we need to deselect all parameters select compressed strength yield strength so click on ok so click on define option so here i am assuming compressed strength will be consisting of 40000 click on add and yield strength will be consisting of 600000 600 1 2 3 click on add option close option now i am selecting the commands here design shear wall click on add close so here we have to select the question marks for this respected section so here i am selecting the question mark which is related to the grade of the concrete grade of the steel as well as your respected assignment method for the um, shear wall section so here i am selecting so select fc by using assign to view assign yes option select fy main by using assign to view assign yes option 
select design shear wall command click on assign to view assign yes option so after that we have to go to analysis and print option add your no print close option go to analyze option run analysis save it so again we have to check for the zero errors for this respected design also so here my model is checking for the zero errors so here my model is observed with zero errors so click on go to post processing mode again click on done option again so click on apply click on ok now here we have to select the beam any one of the beam from this respected structure so here I am selecting top beam, double click on it, click on concrete design. So this is the concrete design for this respected section. It will be consisting of 13 bars of 10 mm dia and 200 center to center distance at the top reinforcement. And it will be consisting of 13 bars of 10 mm dia, 30 center to center distance at the bottom reinforcement. And it will be consisting of 10 number of stirrups, which is consisting of 8 center to center distance with 145 distance. So click on cancel button. I can select any one of the column here. So here I am selecting this respected column, double click on it, click on concrete design. So it will be consisting of 12 number of columns, which is consisting of 12 mm dia for each bar and AST percentage is 1.18 and AST requirement is 920 mm square for M30 grade concrete, 600 grade steel. So click on close option. So after that, we have to check the start output file for this respected designing. So click on start output file option. So it will load your respective start output file here. It will be consisting of 574 pages. So click on concrete design. So this is the concrete design for this respected each and individual calculation sheet for beams design, columns design as well as your respected slab design results for this G plus 8 building with shear wall opening. So click on shear wall design. So these are the shear wall design calculations as per the consideration for this respective structure. So this is the process analysis and designing of G plus 8 building with the shear walls opening by using StatPro V8i software. If you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected question thank you